Hi, I'm Linda. I'm a demonstrator in Australia and I've had some requests to show people how to use the spiral flower die which is from our new um, occasions catalogue. So that just came out last week, the 28th of February here in Australia. Oh, sorry, 28th of January. Goodness, that was a bad start. Um, okay, so I've actually left the shape of the flower on there after it's cut so you can see it because otherwise it's almost impossible to see as it's black on black. Um, as you can see when I take it away, it's really hard. You can't see a thing. But this is the shape that it cuts out. I'll just cut one out for you. And I'm just going to show you a couple of different ways you can use it. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that I've completely covered the shape of the, the cut of the die. And pop it through my big shot. It's a big die, so you don't need a platform of any kind. No magnetic platform, no regular platform and when you take it off here is our shape okay so you can see i'm using perfect plum that's the color i'm using today right. pop that aside for a moment there are so many different things you can do with this die it's actually really versatile um you can cut not just paper you can cut other um types of um materials as well i've made um i've used glimmer paper i've used foil I've used regular cardstock, I've used pattern paper, um, I haven't yet but I'm planning on using calico with maybe a little bit of um, stiffening behind it. Um, um, I thought that might work really well. So I'm sure there's lots and lots of mediums that we can use this for. So still work to do and, and I haven't finished playing with them all but I have actually made lots and I've had lots of samples on my blog just recently. So here's a couple of different things you can do. Okay, I've done a couple of flowers here in advance. Okay, just to show you a couple of different ones. Um, the first one I'm going to show you, um, it always works best if you can um, break the fibres down of your um, paper before you start to curl it into the flower shape. Now you don't have to do this, it will still work if you don't do it, but I've just found that just gently using your bone folder all the way along so it sort of curls up, and it'll actually um, start to form the shape of the flower even before you've started curling it, just by doing this. So I find, so you can see already it's curling up. Um, and there's a few things you can do that will make it easier. You can curl your flower around a pen or a pencil or any sharp implement, but I have found the easiest thing to curl it with is actually tweezers. And if you have them, I'm not sure, these, they're called slant nose tweezers, I think, this shape of tweezer. Um, they're the easiest of all. So I've been playing around and that's what I find is working best for me. Just be really gentle when you get in here to the, um, towards the end of it. It's really easy to rip the paper. If you do rip it, it's not the end of the world. You can stick it back together or it's easy enough to cut another one, I suppose. But um, it's nice if you don't have to glue it back together and... Just be a bit gentle in the first place. So you can see it's already starting to form the shape of the flower. Okay. Now there's a couple of things um, that I could do. I could um, I could start just curling it at this point. I'm and in fact I'm thinking as I go. I think I will do that with this one. All right. So I want to get my tweezers and I want to hold them and I want to sort of curl it around a little bit and then I'm just going to start to twist it. Now as you're twisting, try and keep the, not the scallop edge, but the other edge, the relatively straight edge, um, keep that roughly level with itself as you're curving it. So try and keep it roughly straight on the tweezers. But you can see it curls up quite quickly. And you don't need to be particularly precious with it or exact. I mean, what flower is exact? I mean, they're all perfect, right? But they're all different. So... Already I've tried spritzing flowers, I've tried um, snipping them to make like a fringed flower, um, our new fringe scissors <laughs> are good for that. Alright, so I've curled it all the way around, okay, I've just got this last little bit left over. I'm actually going to take them off the tweezers, and you'll see it's quite tight here in the middle. What I like to do is I like to hold it on the base, just hold it like that, and gently, I'll just hold it up so you can see, um, gently let it go okay so don't let it go completely kind of just guide it and let it sort itself out where it wants to go to and it's almost going to form quite a, a tight little bud okay 
Now you could if you were making buds that would be perfect exactly like that but I'm actually wanting a more open flower or rose in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to push like flip over just with my fingers some of the outer petals trying to do it so that you can see so I'm just kind of flipping over don't worry about the middle ones but I just want some of those outer ones to flip over okay now at this point you can see it's starting to look like a rose okay um, what I could do now would be um, if I was going to spritz it I could spritz it now I mean you can also spritz before you curl and that actually gives you a softer a softer um, start and that gives you a different result as well you can also create like crunkle up your paper before you start to curl to give you more of a vintage look if you use coordinations paper you'll get more of a um, vintage look as well especially if you want to distress it back a little bit but you can see my flower is actually looking quite nice now now there's a couple ways you can treat it here to add a bit more color and this is probably a really simple way to do it um, you can use glue dots or if you have one a hot glue gun will um, really securely hold this in place you'll put your hot glue right here in the middle okay and then you're going to just push the whole flower including the middle make sure you push the middle down onto the hot glue so the whole thing gets a bit more stability all right now I've got myself some white ink here and I'm just going to do something really simple and I'm actually just going to press my flower into the white ink okay I just want to get a little bit of white ink on the edges okay and you can see what this has done okay that's given me here's one I prepared earlier magic of television okay you can see how I've got the white edges on this one and this one's glued quite securely um, it's not going anywhere and that's quite lovely to add to my projects in with those white edges I thought that was nice and simple um, you could add a diamante or a pearl or something into the middle if you wanted to but I quite like it as it is it's probably a bit more realistic um, the other one I've got here you can see it's purple on the outside but looks um, a lot lighter in the middle and that's because I did a similar thing except I used a dauber with my whitey and before I started um, to roll it I actually just got my dauber and just went all the way around the edges with my white dauber okay I mean obviously if you had a light colored flower you could do this with a dark color I only one on the very edges and you can be a bit rough because it's not going to make any difference to this, the finished effect all right okay so I've done all that don't need to worry about the very bottom one because that's actually going to be the base okay so if you can see what that looks like okay and then when I put it together rolled it around like the other one I ended up with kind of a white and purple it's purple on the outside more whitish um, mauve on the inside okay what do you think they're cool aren't they um, there's so many things you can do with them if you want to see some more things I've done with these visit my blog it's www.lhiggins.blogspot.com and um, you'll find there's some great ideas of how to use um, these on tags, on bags, um, on cards, a whole range of different projects. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll be back with more soon. Thanks!